Today, we're going to be draining this ocean monument in my spanning village hardcore world. But obviously, we need a lot of sand to do this. So let's go check our storage system, see how much we have. All right, let's see. Where's the sand on this side? Oh, um, three pieces. That's not enough to drain an ocean monument. So instead, I should probably make a gravity block duplication machine so I can duplicate sand blocks and get 70,000 sand per hour. Okay, yeah, that's it. That's what we're doing today. But really quickly, before we continue on with the build, I have to give a huge thank you to today's sponsor, HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. If you're someone like me and you eat out probably a little bit more than you should, well then HelloFresh could be perfect for you because it'll allow you to cut back on expensive takeout and delivery, allowing you to make fast, easy, and affordable meals right in your own kitchen. Now, what I'm showing you is not delivery or takeout. It is the bacon jalapeno mac and cheese recipe that I made tonight for dinner. And let me tell you, it was crazy good. One of my favorite things about making this recipe tonight was just how fast and easy it was. And there's tons of recipes out there that take 15 minutes or less to prepare. If this sounds good to you and you want to try HelloFresh for yourself, then you can click the link down below for a special limited time discount plus free shipping so that you can try HelloFresh today. Once again, huge thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video and back to the build. We can get started building this machine. Now, if you're wondering, what do you even need to build a gravity block duplicating machine and by the way, this thing can actually duplicate any sort of concrete powder, sand, or gravel, which is really handy. But the first thing you actually need is an end portal because in portals is how this farm works basically you build a big fancy redstone contraption in this room it chucks blocks in here and it duplicates them uh, however i have plans to transform this exact in portal room and make it not look so dull and bleak and sad so i will not be using this stronghold because once again i have plans for it uh, so I'm actually going to need to go and find another stronghold kind of close by because if I use this machine often, I don't want to have to constantly fly really far distances to and from my base to the machine. Oh, wait, I just realized I needed to make more fireworks. How are my farms doing? I have two automatic farms. I forgot these existed. Ooh, that's dude. That's enough for me. Listen, it might not seem like a lot. And well, we almost have enough eyes of vendor for this portal, but we're all out of blaze rods. So I guess we're going to go take a trip to our blaze rod farm. Probably one last time because now that we have the gold XP farm, we just don't really need the blaze XP farm anymore. Also, yes, I will be adding some more mobs to the village house section over here in this episode. I won't forget. I promise. This farm is just so agonizingly slow. Look how, dude, they're, look how slow they're moving. They just, oh, do they like meander their way over here oh my gosh all right like a stack of blaze rods secured i'm trying to go find this uh stronghold so let's get to it hey stronghold secured cool now i just have to go find the room and oh yeah i mean as you can tell i'm obviously the best at finding the actual stronghold room oh i was looking for a frost walker enchantment book the other day maybe maybe this we got here uh or, or not or maybe there's just no enchanted books in here sweet that was actually not that bad it's usually way worse for me all right cool all right so i'm definitely not gonna need this and it's only a one eye and two of mine broke so we're gonna have to make a few more and bada bang bada boom let me just make sure i have the coordinates screenshotted and uh, we actually need to go into the end because... Oh, dude. <laughs> I forgot I transformed this. <laughs> it's been so long since I've been to the end. I completely forgot I transformed this. I was like, why is everything green? Uh, but no, we also need to go get a bunch of shulkers because this thing, it makes 72,000 items per hour. So we're going to need a lot of space to transport all of our blocks once they've been duplicated or created. And here we are. Now, I do feel like shulker farms are probably one of the most overkill farms in Minecraft, like just in general. But I mean, I've been using shulkers so much. Maybe that'll be one of the next farms we make. All right, 14 shulkers should be more than enough. Let's chuck back on our elytra or seven shulkers, my bad. But let's head back to home base, get our materials, and uh, then we can get this build underway. All right, we got the materials. Uh, I actually want to time myself. How long does it take to go from point A, my base, to point B, the stronghold? Because that's a big factor. If it's like five minutes, I'm going to be pretty upset. 
All right, well, it took like a minute and a half. That's not really bad, but it, right here is where the in portal room is. So I'm gonna have to like dig down, but like obviously not let the water fall in because that would be a big issue. All right, so if I dig straight down, I should be greeted by landing on like the very edge of the machine, like the very or the machine. That machine isn't built yet. The very edge of this, uh, the in portal. And if I've done this wrong, I'm gonna fall right through the in portal. Ooh, I almost broke that, but then I realized you can actually break these. But all right. Perfect. Let's get started with this. First thing we got to do is clear out this room because it's a pretty, it's a pretty big machine. It's not a lot of redstone. It's just one of those like really complicated, really intricate redstone machines. And if one block is out of place, the whole thing is just not going to work in the slightest. So uh, obviously going to clear out the lava. And then uh, the next thing we're going to be doing is actually removing these in portal frames. All right, with everything cleared out and decorated, we can get started with actually removing the in portal frames, which is a whole lot easier than you think. It just takes a few mushrooms and a few pieces of bone mill. You build these little L shapes off to the side of the in portal place down. It has to be a red mushroom. And when you bone mill it, it removes the in portal frame. Uh, I know on some platforms, you can use similar mechanics with mushrooms and trees to actually remove stuff like bedrock. I don't think this works on Java. Or if it does did work, I'm pretty sure people would use it. But for stuff like in portal frames, and you can actually remove the in portal like pieces themselves. But that is, it took me 10 seconds. 10 seconds and it's all cleared out and we can get started on building the farm uh, because all of the farm components fit inside this little room, which is crazy. You think that you're just making 72,000 blocks in this little room, easy peasy. But if you're wondering if I designed this farm, uh, no, I, I did not design this farm. I will leave the link down to the original video in the description for anyone who wants to do this their self and their world. So shout out to Kelp MC for creating such an awesome farm design and lovely, don't you? I mean, listen, I'm glad I'm double checking my work. It's like, that doesn't seem like it's going to work out. And no, this is... I mean, like all redstone contraptions nowadays, if you do even like the smallest thing wrong, then like nothing works. Like even if you do 99.99% of things right, well, doesn't matter because you did one thing, one small block placement wrong, but it's a pretty easy farm to build. I think this will take like, it took me longer to get the honey and to get the slime, or at least I'm hoping it'll, as long as I don't mess up anymore, should take me around 30 minutes or so, which yeah, is just like complete and utter insanity. For, for something like, I, I, I don't know if Minecraft ever plans on like fixing these farms, because I don't even, these are definitely, it's glitchy. Like, I don't know, I just, I just wonder sometimes, you know? Is Minecraft okay with all these bugs being in the game? I mean, I don't really care because I'm going to keep abusing them as, as long as they're in the game, I'm going to keep using them. But uh, anyways, let's see, what if I flick this lever? No, I'm not, just kidding. I was going to flick it, definitely going to break something. So we're not going to flick it just yet. Bro, this thing is looking absolutely <laughs> minus. I, it's about to get crazy. All I know is a few more steps, and then sand just gets literally like chucked in here by all these slime blocks. It's gonna get sick. Okay, okay, okay. I think it's ready. I'm gonna flip the lever. See what happens. Hey, something's happening. Okay, let me make sure I get up here. I don't mess up any redstone. I guess it's working. <laughs> I don't know until I go into the end. Oh, but no, I can't go into the end because I have to build a chunk loader, which means that I have to AFK in the end, but if I go into the end, and then it doesn't work. So I have to make sure this is loaded. I think this is working, but I don't know. Here, let me turn this off. Maybe there will be sand. Oh no, there won't be sand there because it just gets chucked off. Let me just... Oh no, there was sand there. Okay, so it works, it works. I forgot, we also have to clear this out because the way the sand, you'll see in a second, it just gets chucked. Like in every direction, but that's fine. We just have to make sure we can build our collection system easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, now we're building some absolute wizard magic, which is, what is it, a chunk loader. So it, once this machine is built, uh, this is a sucky, eh, it's actually not that bad of a place. It doesn't really matter where it is. Uh, but once this machine is built and up and running, no matter where I am in the world, if this machine is on, then this chunk, these chunks will be loaded. And then that means this will just always infinitely be running as long as this machine is on. So you can do it for some really fancy stuff. It's mainly used for things like mob spawners and, and farms like this, where it requires you to be in two dimensions at, at once. All right, so if I did this right, I should be able to, hey, it does work. 
So yeah, whenever uh, the minecart goes into the nether, it burns, comes back into here, gets collected by a hopper that's under here, gets put back onto this detector rail, which powers the dispenser, which puts another minecart on. It, it's just an infinite loop. So now that this works, we should be able to turn on this machine, build the collection system, and then make 72,000 blocks of sand per hour. Okay, and this should be the collection system. Uh, since the blocks just fly out in all four directions, uh, it's just a pretty simple setup here. I'll just need to make sure that I can have access to chests or to the chest whenever I need them. So it's super simple. I'll just basically be expanding this chest hopper system once the farm is up and running uh, and then just having two different points of collecting the items. Let's break that there. That chest is... And yeah, these chests are right here behind this wall. And that one's already in the open. So all that's left to do is go back, turn the machine on, and watch the magic unfold. So the chunk loader is on. We go to this corner, flick the lever, sand's flying in, and we should be able to just, oh, hop in there, yeah. Oh, why is it not breaking? That's weird. Okay, now this side should work. Ah, there we are. Yeah, just need some buttons. I'll probably also spawn proof this place because I don't want the Enderman getting any funny ideas. All right, but that should be it. Everything's working. The sand's going into the hoppers. And I mean, I think this thing produces more sand than these hoppers can even collect, which is kind of a problem. Uh, we have one torch. And that torch is... Where did the torch go? <laughs> I have no clue where that torch just went. Um, okay, I'll, I'll be back. All right, we uh, got some extra storage set up. 12 double chests in total, which I think should be around like 40,000 items if my math isn't terribly far off. So uh, we're gonna go back, get the farm started up. I'm gonna go AFK for a little bit and hopefully come back to like a fully max of storage system. I know though, I'm gonna set a timer for 30 minutes because if I make like too many entities, then the game, my game can just like crash and my I can lose my world. So I definitely, don't want that to happen uh but we're gonna geronimo in here and yeah we're just gonna chill hopefully my world doesn't break that'd be awesome but <laughs> this is just such an absurd point of view like what is happening here a few moments later all right it has been 30 minutes the sand is still oh my god the sand is flying it is hurling let me go check what are we looking at here full Half full. Oh my. And this is definitely full. Yeah, that's kind of the problem. There's just too much, too much stuff. So it's more like we just have a hopper issue, which I, I could make a really fancy system. But for now, uh, I mean, if I just turn the system off, I go back to the other one and turn the system off. I mean, we've still got like 30,000 sand and there's just like a little bit, you know, of a bottleneck. But I think that's fine, Percy. We're going to go and turn this off. But ladies and gentlemen, that is how you build a sand duplication machine in Minecraft that's super overpowered. But no, I didn't forget about the mob. We're going to go ahead and break this or actually we'll keep this here we're not going to put down our spawn here and then of course make sure we turn this off now listen i know i've been slack and i do apologize i just get so caught up in these builds but because we just built an end related thing i feel like it makes sense you know end it off with a nice end stone village house and a lot of you guys have been saying build different houses because these look ugly I'm good, Chief. I I love how it's just all the exact same looking house. I think that even I think that just adds to it, if anything. Probably gonna go maybe oh, purple blocks for the roof seems like a great idea for the roof and for the floor. I like that. And then we are gonna be chucking in none other than an iron golem. Cause we still oh uh, well, I guess we can't do it yet because we don't have the floor in place. That would be a bad idea but i you know it, it gives it some character what is that they always say it's character building yeah i, I like that we're, we're we're character building this house some something like that at least all right let's go see how the finished product is looking honestly not not terrible it's i just i mean you guys wanted something different so i gave you something different hope you enjoyed the episode as always if you did don't forget to drop a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and check out some of the other episodes in this series and i'll catch you guys in the next one deuces